Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Okami. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope everyone was able to stay safe and enjoy their time with family and delicious, delicious food. But with that, we're going to jump straight into this. And remember, if you're not subscribed, do so. If you enjoy my content, leave a like. And if you want to chat, leave a comment and I will respond. But we are now down to our last dog to get try to get back. Let's see if we can't take care of that real quick. Unfortunately, this bridge should still be out, so we're going to have to... Do with this. Let's see. Ooh. Let's just put it right under us so we're more likely to fail, apparently. Alright, we can get out of this. We're good. Alright, so we gotta go back to Hana Village. So we will simply jump off the mountain. Actually, we have enough money. Let's go see if we can't buy some more skills. That sounds promising. Let's see what we got. Listen. To insult foes and get demon print. Look at it. Get ourselves a little upgrade before going and get in this last puppers and then we're gonna warp back let's see is it gonna auto equip the beads nope all right yep So yeah, this is what the spirit beads do. They're great for combos. As you can saw, that was a 45 hit combo. Alright, I don't feel like keep doing this. I think we're pretty much good. Mostly doing this for them in the future. We'll probably get more beads later. Yeah, I had enough. I got what I need from you. Uh, let's uh, be on our way. Because we wasted a lot of time last episode. I was hoping to get all the puppers last episode. That didn't happen. Alright, so jump off here. And we're on our way. On our way. People think we're crazy. You're probably right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this last dog. Get back to um, um the village to defeat. Oh look, it's back to defeat the um, um what was it? Red Helm, Crimson Helm. And look at this. It's a pupper. How long are you planning to just sit there? You remind me of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Is that the canine trucker? Have you come to take me back to my master? You must be on an errand from Princess Fusei, if you bear that. But I shall not move from here. 
for the festival will begin soon. This is Kanan Warrior Chu. You've got to be kidding me! You're one of the Satomi Canine Warriors, and you're ignoring the Prince's summons to wait for the festival? Come back here tonight. We need to have a man-to-man -man talk. Alright. Uh... This is where it's a good thing that we have... ...this ability. Because if not, we would have to wait for it naturally. Alright. You bear the cannon tracker, so you must know what it decrees. Men settle their differences at night. Man to man, fist to fist. Man to man, fist to fist. Don't you mean dog to wolf, paw to paw? You're gonna let this punk talk to you like that, Amy? Yeah, I guess we'll fight the doggy. We won't have something mad at us, because they won't see it. Okay, they're all asleep. Come on. Defeat the pupper. Give me your money. We are out of here. Alright. Give us the orb. Make us the owner of whatever it is. I am not the real Hayabuse. The real Hayabuse died along with Mushi's father when they were attacked by monsters deep in the forest. I happened to pass by about that time, but I was too late. Right before Hayabuse died, he begged me to protect Mushi. He foretold me the coming of an evil arrow from the sky, an arrow that would kill Mushi on the night of the full moon. That is how I came to live here in this village. I have been waiting for the full moon of the festival season. Nobody noticed I was not the real Hayabushi, as we are the same breed. The night of the full moon draws near. I shall not move from here. My duty is to fill Hayabushi's dying wish. Uh, got this itch right here in the middle of my face. I must protect Mushi. It's it's one thing I really have to commend to these dogs. Like they, they like they want to go back. But they know they can't. Like, they, they, they are duty bound to other things. Alright. Let's head back. Let's see, where's this river that we can jump in? Uh, I think it's all the way up. Okay. Just bang my ring on the table here. Okay. Let's head back. There's a constellation there. It's almost morning, apparently. Are you going to come at me? Oops. I lost my speed. I think it's down here, but I don't know where. Oh no, 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 it was at the training grounds, right. It's where the water's spewing up. Don't notice me. Right over here. 
thing, right? Close. So that goes in. Should probably look to buy more. So we'll go to Sasa Sanctuary. There we go. Did not need to see the birds bathing, but okay. Right, let's hit. This isn't the right way. I'm like, this is pretty far than I thought it was. Here we go. Come in here. Leave out the front. And then back to the village. We have all three orbs. That should be enough to satisfy the dogs. The douge. Watch his camera. Don't just move on me like that. Okay, sorry, just like everything just was like really dark. I was like, oh, what's going on here? Alrighty. We'll get back. Cut corners. Back to the village. Is that Kusa Village? My eyes are getting a bit dried out. So yeah, me and my wife, we went to our in-laws house for Thanksgiving. We're actually getting back. It's 11 o'clock right now. You just got back. It was really fun. We had a nice good dinner. My wife actually made two pies. A uh, was a chocolate silk or French silk pie and a um, um, pumpkin pie. Uh, really delicious. I had one apiece. So good. And then we had some turkey, ham, uh, corn casserole, uh, mashed potatoes, sweet potato pie. I guess this one was just sweet potatoes. There was no pie. Uh, green beans. Actually, there were seats for all the dogs. Does that mean I get three seats? No. Oh, I got something on my nose that hurts. Oh, let's just get through this. All right, one, two, three. Those are all. Those are our seats. Why? It's my favorite wolf and bug. Enough with the bug thing already. I must speak to you about the three canine warriors. I am sensing something different about them. Do you bring no word of their condition or whereabouts? Well, um, about that. We did find the other three, but... You found them? Well, yeah. It's kind of a long story, but I'm afraid they won't be coming back. Instead, they gave us the Satomi Power Orbs. I see. Well, I did sense that the Canine Warriors had changed in some way. Maybe they had a fateful encounter during their journey. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken have been forged. If they are to live apart from the Satomi house, I have but one wish. I would wish them to protect the peace under their new masters. For that is the role they were meant to fulfill. Oh, that's such a nice place. Well, at any rate... All the Satomi power orbs have been returned. Now I can break Crimson Helm's barrier. I must go to the shrine. Except they have chosen me. Jesus, what is this thing? The power orbs are spinning around us. How could this be? Have the power orbs accepted you as their new master? Master? What are you talking about, lady? One does not choose to take the orbs. They choose their master. 
Oh, magnificent power of heirlooms of the Satomi House. Are these whom you have chosen to decide the Satomi House's fates? I am your masters. Pretty cool. I wish that I could keep something like this. It's a very good aesthetic. Maybe something to turn on and off. Just, uh... <laughs> I'm outrunning them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But, you know, it's just something cool. I feel like I am, like, Sonic, and I got the seven Chaos Emeralds. And I'm about to go Super Shiranui! Or Super Okami! Let's see. So here's the spirit. Oh! Susano Sayo, Sleeping Monk, Hidden Sake, Sake. What the? Well, looky here, it's Susano again. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, spirit who defiles my sword, I am closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine, where the beast makes its lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually find my way in. Grump, grump. Yeah, lazy bum. Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been cursed. The strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine entrance, but his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man and would like to render that service I could. What's it? Blah, blah, blah. But when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susano said something about being possessed. And he's been acting all weird, like that time he helped Kushi. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair maiden, the orbs could only be cho could only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Very well, you may pass, O oh, Savior of the Satomi House. <coughs> and that's why we can't keep them, is because they were the key. Beware, Fair Maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight headed serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from the pool of the beast's blood. Never let your guard down. Wait, 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 wait. The door to the Gale Shrine has opened? I must have finally communicated with the gods. The time has come, foul spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. No buffs. Wait. Oh, he's going to get himself killed. What do you want? Is not life dear to that man? Beware, for maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed spirit was slain... Okay, yeah. Stop repeating yourself. He had the arrow on his head and everything to talk to him again. Do we just go straight into the boss fight? Is there no dungeon? I don't know, there might be a dungeon. It looks like there's some segues. So there's a pool, nothing to the left. There's some three chests. Can I swim in this? Yes. So what I should do. Got that. Got that. And I guess I'll take that. And off we go. Alright, we're just gonna go down this side section to the right. Because we want to make sure we explore everything if we get the chance to. Oh, a demon gate. This must house a bead. I guess we'll take on the demon gate. <clears throat> Ooh, a new spirit. Okay. So like the plant one, this is water-based, I guess.
do I I don't think that was it. Huh. I almost feel like there should be something to, like, lift off his... Weird. Yeah, sure. I don't know exactly what to do with you, but I'll take my full health, we'll waste all our time, and only get very minimal bonus. Ah, another key. We have the key. So I guess that was, it was a good thing that we came this way, because it was kind of needed. Alright. So I still don't know how to take on that enemy properly. Like, I thought I had to use some of my water powers, but that wasn't working. So. Who knows? Okay. Alright, am I supposed- I should be getting a new power here, I think? Look how scared he is. I'll take that beat. Um, uh, back feed. Oh. oh, sweet. And let's just break all three of these like this. Money. Get our herd back. He's so terrified. Because he's afraid of the key. It's the only way to defeat a locked demon is with its key. Let me turn up the brightness a bit. It's a bit too dark for me. Alrighty, let's head in. Ooh, let's head out. I want to hit up the save section. I think we're good. But better safe than sorry. Got a few more. I've seen this mark on the floor before. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. And it propels us up to the next floor. Hmm. I guess we'll challenge it. Blue's different. I'm noticing I'm not dealing damage to him. I feel like... And we hit it. I don't have a proper answer for it, but we we did something. And did he have what I need? He has another key, okay. Not what I was expecting. So we have this. I got no water to put those flames out. Oh, uh, we're going down. Okay, so I guess this thing resets each time. So this should be fun. <clears throat> Just want to skip these cutscenes. Right, so let's go to the third floor then. <clears throat> Let's 
All the way up, top floor. Up, and there's a the lock I need. Alright, this should be where I get what I need. Hmm. Alright, I gotta go higher up. So let's clear these out. There's nothing over here. I just kind of messed my slash up on that side. I started it incorrectly. Okay. Just go up. Up, 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 all the day long. Alrighty, so this is, should be where we get a wind constellation. Yes. Now that's one big windmill. I saw it from down the village, but I had no idea it was this big. <clears throat> so yeah, if you can tell, it's actually showing you... Oh, this is a bit harder. Do I, does it want me to do the opposite of the Erlings? <clears throat> I knew that would bring the divine one back. Got it. I gotta do the opposite direction of the evil. Okay, there we go. And we threw, we just blew away the darkness. We huffed. And we puffed, and we're the big bad wolf. I bet the big windmill will. Yep. Look at its creaking. It's moving. The divine wind has brought its guidance. Yes, yes. We huffed, and we puffed, and we got your windmill blowing. And this actually reminds me of Courage the Cowardly Dog. There was an episode where the windmill stopped moving, and because it stopped moving, it brought these um, uh, scavengers, rioters, and they're coming at the Courage and the family. And he realized that the windmill was a essentially a protector. It had a seal on it keeping them away. And because it stopped, it broke the seal. It's a lot of dots. Let's see, this is the horse, was it? Boop. 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 Oh, he has like the Ganshu fan. Ganshu? It's from Dragon Ball. They had a special fan that can create gale winds. He's just amazed. He was amazed, and then now he's sad because we outran him. Ah, uh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazagami, god of the wind, have walked a shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. <clears throat> Very short and quick and to the point. Alrighty. I bet it was the divine wind that brought him back. Now you can use Kazakami's Gill Storm Brush technique. Just draw a mark of Kazakami to create wind. Let's try it out. Draw the wind mark like you did. Okay, so I think. I think it's just. Yeah. Little loop. I just love the fact that they all have the little special characters that it reads. So all those fires that we had, we can now put them out. And we got the thing as a comic. Hold on. Uh, hold on. 
I see that. What do we have here? What is this? Ah, it's a sun frag. I think this is our second one? Nope, that was our third one. So that gives us a free health marker that we didn't have to, you know, pay stuff for. Actually, speaking of that, do we have... So we have 160. I think we were saving up for an astral pouch. Or maybe more ink. Because I feel like we don't take a lot of damage, honestly. And with the sun fragments boasting us, we are good. Yep, yep, I was working on that. Yeah, yeah, but we have no water. How do we put it out? We blow it. Oh, what's this? A Gale Shrine map. Oh. That's not what I want. Okay. That's not all too helpful for this floor. So what I want to do, if I can manage it, I fail it. Alright, we don't have to come up here anymore, but there's that one thing I was trying to not have to rely on it, but does not seem to be the case. Alright, so now we have this. And we'll blow it out. And it was it was a stray bead. Yeah, a lot of these stray beads just get by itself. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Now we'll try to get my controllers back and escape. Alright. Now that we got that done, I normally would call it here. It's going on 30 minutes, but I think we can, I think we're getting to the end of this area. This game, you know, this is a game is a lot more hand-holy than I thought it, remember it to be. Ooh, I'm glad that worked, that was a horrible drawing. Alrighty. Get this. Brush tips. Oh, how fortunate for me. What's going on? Take me up to the place where I belong. It has a time limit before the flames come back. Right. How do I get over? Oh, they're all tucked out over here. Let's see here. This one doesn't seem to have flames at all, so we'll just take care of that. Get some sake. Dragged over here. I know we're going backwards, but... Camera. Stop it. Ooh, an infinity stone. That's actually pretty useful. Let's see, can I climb on this? Ooh, I think I can. Let's see. And then again. Oh, check out those massive hanging scrolls. Looks like they're enjoying that wind you brought back. But be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets too much stronger. Oh, wait. I remember what to do here. Yep. 
I think these are gonna, yeah, they're gonna go down real quick, which allows me to do There we go. And what's in here? Oh, great. So happy. I think there... <coughs> what was that? I guess we'll catch that on the way out. Because I think... Yeah. You guys on the page? You, you things want meat, right? Yeah. Rats want meat. Don't know why. Like, I get that they're essentially omnivores and whatnot, but I still find that weird. So I think we should be within our decent time limit. Ooh, what's this? Do I just blow it out and then jump over? Doesn't last very long, does it? Nope, not at all. Come out here, Crimson Helm. I'm gonna huff, I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your flames out. A golden gate. Oh right, that's, that's a saving option. Hmm, you see that, Ami? It's some kind of crystal. Looks like a berry of something. I bet it's the serpent crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know, the item that Waka guy was searching for? Where's the Crimson Helm? Let's just trigger this fight. Is he like Ifri, the embodiment of fire? Ooh, this guy, this thing is menacing. All right. A crimson helmet. Hey, it must be the crimson helm. <laughs> he really does look like one mean dude. Better psych yourself up for this one, furball. All right, this one I think I remember being fairly hard. Oh, these things are coming to help me. What the heck? Aren't these the Satomi Power Orbs? Let's see. That does nothing. Let's see. I think I just gotta hit them for a while. Yeah. There we go. All right, so he actually runs outside the barrier, which is a bit annoying. Back in. Yeah, he's back in. Ubers. Yeah, slashing him does nothing. runs away. Oh, there's that move.
Only one orb left. We're just gonna power through this. I think we're on a different form now. Which is not good for someone who's wasted six of the seven orbs. Ooh. Oh. Essentially the fire form of Orochi. Oh, he's hiding. Is he chickening out? After him, Amy, quick. Back, you cur. I'll handle this one. Charge! What the heck is he doing? He's gonna get sliced and diced. Time for some brushwork on me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And to top it off, now for some wind. Yes, wind, more wind. Now you're talking. Wait, there's more. Behold the secret technique, Wind of Wrath! Oh, Jesus. That is... He might be a joke by himself, but with us, he is something definitely better than what I am by myself. Now I'm positive. This is not my doing. It's the gods. They toy with me. Will you never stop mocking me? You hear me up there? Are you happy now? Oh, why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendant? All I wish is to live in peace. Do you enjoy dogging my every step? Uh, you okay, Pops? Blast you, gods. I don't want your power. This whole world can fall to ruin as far as, far as I'm concerned. Enough of these legends and Nagi's descendant stuff. Now just leave me be. I find it interesting that he's complaining about being joked around as the descendant and not wanting to do with it anything with him but he's the one that started all this by taking the sword it could go away that voice one after the other you're driving me crazy stop it I don't want to hear about that now go away leave me alone he knows he has the power to stop him so he's whispering to him. What was that on me? It was the head of Orochi, obviously. Ooh, new beads! You obtain the divine instrument, life beads. Orochi that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. Yep. Bonjour. Oh, I am. Am I interrupting something? Oh, brother. It's a half baked prophet again. Hey. That's. That's. What? Are these? It's the serpent crystal, and it's mine at last. You got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. We found it fast. It won't do you any good. I mean, 
I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. You know the barrier at the moon cave of Rochi's stronghold? And it looks like Orochi's upset about that. Hmm. You calling me, big boy? <laughs> Keep your scares on. I'm coming. Now, is the barrier keeping him... Uh, keeping things out? Or is it keeping us... Keeping him in? What? Why are you going over to Orochi's place? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot... Time for another prophecy. I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing. Anyway, I must be up. Au revoir, baby. Now you wait a second. Dispel the barrier in the moon cave? What the heck's he talk up to? I feel like Isun's just there to repeat stuff that other people tell us to do, so we know where to go. Because they didn't want to add, like, a guide track. Alright, don't... Are you going to exit us out of the entire cave? Yeah, our time wasn't great. Damage was perfect because of the orbs. Would you like to save the game? Uh, sure. One mean dude. We'll save after that. We did pretty good. Him running around caused a lot of issues. Oh, they took me all the way out. Eh. And Prince Ifuse, last of the Satomi house, you have done well. But you know, Prince, indeed, I do. For I was her husband and head priest of the shrine. My lingering fears about the Kuse village kept my spirits here. But thanks to you, I can now travel to the great beyond. Princess Fuse and the canine warriors still have much to learn. But I have no doubt that they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Why did I give him, um, um, the other guy's voice? Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. I don't know why I'm going very French. I'm thinking Monty Python and the Holy Grail right now, and I think it's making me give them all French accents. Except the one guy who's supposed to have a French accent. He gets the French accent. What is it, you two? What were you looking at? Oh, nothing. Anyway, Princess, there's no need to thank us. Just keep protecting the village as head priestess of the shrine. I know you'll... Have your hands full with those pesky canines. I have been rather feeble since, but as I heard, as, but as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine, while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit. And we get 30. All right. Well, I don't want to go and get that last one. It was probably a bead. But we're not getting beads. Beads might, we might do the beads later. We might do the whole hundred bead collection, but that's an after thing. Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadow creature with those heads really that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques too. You didn't even so much as growl as that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Nagi was the stronger of you two. Or maybe the legendary sake really packs a punch. Yeah, it must have been the sake. Ah, um, the legendary sake is back at the village, isn't it? And isn't it about time for the annual festival? Yep. Yes, yes, let's go back. I'm gonna go all the way back. Oh. Let's, see if we, let's see if the shop doesn't sell a mermaid coin. I really want a place to sell the mermaid coin. No, those ominous blue flames do not go well. Alright, so this place is pretty clean. What is... Interesting. Let's see. Where do you wish to take me? Uh, we've already gone over. We might as well go on this adventure. So where's my next platform? Over there? Is that 
for you, Jay. Haven't I been up there before? I'll be able to spot that floating island in the sky. My grandpa said there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods lived. Interesting. Uh. Okay, so be more careful on this. Got it. Oh wait, right. What are you talking about? I'm the one and only blockhead, and those who would claim otherwise are in for it. Are you trying to break through my airtight defenses? Ha, impossible. Nothing can harm my body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow there would slay me in an instant, but I w wouldn't be fool enough to expose my weak points. Here, 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 here. Huh? Were my weak points so obvious? I have failed, but let me be known I died a warrior's death. Okay. I feel like we're doing a lot of extra stuff. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a bead. We're just going to take up the other one and just circle them both in one go. Alrighty then. Right there. Boom. Ten. Uh, what, what did we need to get to? Fifty. Because I can go through stuff real quickly. Can I... Oh, where did I land? I feel lost. Oh no. I don't know where I'm going. Do I want to go up? Oh jeez, I got myself lost. Let's you go. This way. Alright, good. We're at the beginning part of the shop. Ooh. I hate this village so much. Alright. Let's see if he doesn't if he can't sell me a mermaid coin. Yes. Oh thank god. Uh, I already have one and I'll use it later. Let's get like ten. That way we can just we can always be on the move. Alright. So we're good. So, yep, there we go. We're fully healed. Alright. We're going to call it there. If you liked today's episode, make sure to leave that like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed, please do so for more episodes. But until then, again, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you back on Monday with Pokemon. Peace.